What's up guys? Got another cool build to show off. We have another torched Kraken build. These are probably one of my favorite things to build. Uh, just because you never know what you're going to get in the end. So um, I use yellow gas. Um, torch the brush case. Torch the bezel. Um, torching the crown is very tough to do because if you torch it too long, these are factory press with the stem into them, it'll separate. So I just had to like hit it and get away and hit it and get away and hit it, like keep letting it cool down. And in the end, we got a nice, like just kind of bronzed look to it. Now it's kind of hard to see, especially with the sun where it's sitting, but it does have some of the pink colorations in it too, which is turned out nice. Uh, did it on the link band as well. That gets you sections, big sections of blue. And you get some sections in there with some purple pink. And then some bronzed areas. Did a solid case back and then I went back and did the ring as well on it. So laser engraved Kraken. Uh, then went back and did uh, uh, did the tension. Why is it a tension? I don't know. I mean, it, give, it gives tension. It's uh, it's what screws the case back and down, even. So, uh, laser engraved uh, clasp and uh, back cover, as well as the crown, the Kraken logo on there. The dial is also torched. I did, um, since we've got some bronzing in there, I found like a bronze, bronze-esque colored um, glass insert. And then we custom painted some hands. So these were silver, uh, stripped them down, painted them, reloomed them. And that's the build. It also has a stainless steel movement holder in there. You just can't see it with this, uh, this case back on there. But that is the build. I thought it came out pretty freaking awesome. So... Uh, bezels on these are held on with a tension ring, so they'll turn left, they'll turn right. They're just held in with uh, with tension. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind and a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day because that'll be mixed with the rotor movement in the back. If you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. You can wind it all day if you'd like. Um, when you're happy with your winding, pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. And you also notice it's got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on anything. Okay, Google, what time is it? 3.10 p.m. I'm sure we're past halftime with the Steelers game. You're good. Push it over. Get it out of that time setting. Well, I did not do that. Make sure you actually get it out of that time setting. Otherwise, you will, as you're threading it back down, you do what I did where I moved it back some. So when I actually, you can kind of push it over, but a lot of times I'll just do kind of a, a finger smack to kind of like knock it out of that setting. You can go from winding it to setting the time, but you cannot go from setting the time back to winding it. You have to uh, Rescrew it back down, reset that clutch system in there, then you can back it back out and be winding. So winding to time setting. Time setting does not go back to winding. So if you push it in back in close and you start finagling with it, <clears throat> you're either going to be disengaged or you're still going to be uh, adjusting the time, but you will not be winding. You will not hear it or feel it clicking. So, um, so that's the build. It came out pretty awesome. As with every build, you get matching beads. We're actually able to match beads quite well with this. Um, blue Kraken box on this one, since it's predominantly blue. But though it does look, depending on what angle you're looking at, 
It's going to come with a watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so this watch as a whole, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. It's also going to come with some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It is like Poly Watch because you've got an acrylic glass and you can scratch it, but if you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff against it using your included microfiber. So the scratches up and down, go left and right, filling that scratch, and buff it out in small circles. And that is your build. I think it's going, it's John. Uh, it's John's first watch for me. Thank you so much for your support, man. Uh, I appreciate you a ton. Keep playing in waffles, though, or trying to get into them. Um, because obviously you can pick up something for the, like this for much cheaper if it, uh, if it lands on you. But um, that's his first build, and I hope he loves it. And uh, if you want me to build you guys something custom and unique, reach out, and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.